sometimes life throws you a rock in the face and it's in those moments where you tested that you learned the most good morning to us like 5 or something a.m. welcome back to Poland I'm heading to Germany today Alright guys, and I made it to the train station, but I got inside, there's like nothing there, it's empty and there's uh, no kind of wedding place. So I walked on the other on the other side of the street trying to find coffee, but no coffee here around, everything's closed. Probably because it's Sunday, but I'll try to find another place with uh, some coffee. Because the ride from here to Frankfurt is going to be pretty long. So I ended up in a KFC with a bunch of drunk people eating breakfast, but I was thinking to get only coffee, but I've seen the menu there, it's pretty interesting, they have a bunch of choice, so I got a breakfast, and now I'm back at the train station, which is uh, getting packed with people, but ready to leave for Frankfurt in a few minutes. Alright guys, major problem. Basically I didn't realize that there was two Frankfurt in Germany and when I booked the ticket, I booked for the wrong Frankfurt, which is this one here, Frankfurt O. As they put on the ticket, a couple of uh, kilometers from uh, the real Frankfurt, but I had to leave the train of course because the train goes to Berlin. One of my followers gave me some tips on how to book a train from here to the real Frankfurt that I want to go to. So that's going to be kind of a still like seven hour journey, more. So my plan for this is like completely cancelled, completely a shit. But uh, yeah, so now, welcome to Germany. These things like, just happen when you travel, you have to deal with that crap sometimes, but... And a train ticket from Frankfurt to Frankfurt costed uh, 119 euro. Quite expensive, knowing that I paid like 24 euro from Ghent to here, which is like almost half the journey. Now since we're here and I'm pretty hungry, I'll try to find the most German restaurant ever that I can find because there's a bunch of like ch chains like a Burger King over here there's a Subway on the on this side as well so we'll pick a German restaurant for lunch perfect uh, but just before I need to print the uh, train tickets what a crazy adventure but it gives me the occasion to see a new train station that I wouldn't have seen otherwise enjoy a good sandwich and of course the coffee it's awesome Bathroom here is one euro. With that being said, I made it now to the platform waiting for the train. I better not miss this one. I better get off at the right station, otherwise it's gonna be a whole mess. Because I think there's like eight or nine station in Berlin, so I have to pick the right one. Which should be the first one technically. So hopefully I'll be fine with that. But uh, second train ride of the day out of three. I decided to try out one of these pastries on the way here. It's pretty good. I don't eat that stuff too often, but this is so many bakeries in Europe that it's worth throwing out sometimes. You have to see what it's about, but it's always pretty good. And welcome to Berlin. I managed to sneak outside of the train station to admire the beautiful landscape of Berlin. There's not much here, but it's fine. Now I have to head back inside pretty fast because it's one raining and do have to catch the next train. I made it in the last train for the day, but this one should arrive at 8.14, I think, in Frankfurt, the right Frankfurt, so it's gonna be a pretty long ride. And you gotta be careful, because there's a part of the train that stops at another station before Frankfurt, so if you go in the wrong side of the train, then you're gonna be stuck in the wrong station, so be careful with that.
Please note that person all train is 20 minutes delayed. We expect to arrive in Göttingen today at 6.03. We will inform you as soon as possible about your connecting trains there. I guess I made it to Frankfurt finally. I was just counting this. I left this morning at 7 17, I think, with the first train. And I kind of got here at around 9 30 pm. Quite a ride, quite a mistake, but quite a learning experience, of course, which was really good to have. And I love this quote by Anthony Bourdain, which I'll put right here, that I think sums it up pretty well. Now, there's pretty much two ways you can see this. You can either see this as bad, as frustrating, as a blockage in your journey of traveling, or you can see this as a way to learn and as a way to understand and see different things. Like, I'm pretty honestly happy to have been able to get out of that mess today by like trying new things and getting new train tickets and stuff. And that, that's always out of my comfort zone for sure. And the more you have to deal with those things in life and in travel and in business and in trading, the better you become. Like sometimes you need to be challenged. You cannot just always be comfortable. If traveling was all about just going one country to the next and like eating food and meeting great people all the time, it wouldn't be really enjoyable in the sense that you would really have good moment, but then to enjoy those good moments, you need to have bad moments and tougher times where you have to push yourself and do things different. And I was speaking with this lady in the train telling me that you always have to book your ticket in advance. And especially today in the train, it was crazy. I was like standing up and it was half the way because the train was full and even overloaded but she was telling me all this lesson that if I had the simple way and I would have got here easily I wouldn't learn like all these now techniques to buy a train ticket in advance and to book a seat because you can book a seat but I didn't do it and all those things are going to be really useful in the future now it doesn't matter if I don't come here like next month or so that's, that's not the point you never know in the future what's going to happen and when you're gonna use the skill you learn that you developed in a period where you had a bad or a tough time. That's pretty crazy, right? That's really insane. And when I look back, some of these things I learned a few years ago, when I felt like everything was going wrong, are really useful today and I can use them and I can learn from them. And when I get to a point where I remember something from the past, it feels good and it feels like I can now do things better. And that's kind of my second chance to do things. So for sure, guys, I won't be going back to Frankfurt O. I'll be going back next time to Frankfurt, the real Frankfurt, here. And I'm not going to get in that again. But it's been a good learning experience, of course. And I hope this is useful. I hope you guys like those kind of travel videos a little bit. I want to talk about something more trading related today, but because of all this thing, I couldn't, couldn't really manage to do it. And speaking on a camera on a train is pretty weird. People think you're like a criminal or something. So that's kind of tough. But <laughs> anyway, hope you guys like this. Again, like this is a lesson for today. Hope you can relate to this, of course. And same thing goes with trading. If trading was only about plugging in in the morning, making your money going away, most people would want to trade. But those people who want to trade with that are people of like lower mind that just want to get the money and then run away. They're not people that want to be challenged. They're not people that want to become better and want to grow and want to improve over time. There are people that just want to make the money and then leave. But that's not the person you want to be. You want to be the guy who's having a bad time and going through these tough times to in the end learn. Right? Because I learned myself a lot by these bad times of trading. And I think you need to have those sometimes. Otherwise, as Jim Rohn said, you learn way more by failure than by succeeding. And that's what I really believe in. So yeah, I'm kind of inspired tonight to talk about this, but I hope you guys like it. And it's uh, 11.41 here, better get to sleep or better get to edit the video first 
and I need to sleep. And I'll catch you guys here in Frankfurt tomorrow. Pretty excited about what's happening in the next few days. And you guys will be coming along, of course. So I'll see you guys then. Give a like, subscribe, click the bell next to the subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Ciao.